Which one? SM procedure. SM procedure TVM. You need to close the shutter of the window. Already done. Thank you. Yuri, the reminder at this range 30 uh, meter, please don't forget to activate uh, Robota. Copy. Range now about 125 yards as the two spacecraft are uh, crossing uh, northern Africa, just uh, approaching the Mediterranean coast. All continues to go uh, smoothly uh, as uh, progress is on its final approach to the orbiting laboratory. And VVO uh, Tom uh, Erkenswick here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room uh, reports that the range is uh, just about 100 yards now. Now looking at the uh, progress, 28 against the North African desert as it continues its approach uh, to the International Space Station. Range is closed to just about uh, 75 yards. All continues to go smoothly as uh, the Crew members aboard the International Space Station, uh, Commander uh, Peggy Whitson and uh, Cosmonaut Yuri Malinchenko and Astronaut Dan Tanny, prepare for uh, the docking of Progress 28, the uh, two spacecraft the station and Progress 28 just now crossing the uh, northern coast of Africa and passing out over the Mediterranean Sea. This view from the Progress camera. And uh, now we're back with the camera on board the International Space Station, again looking down uh, over the Mediterranean. Both spacecraft uh, on a northeasterly heading, just about to begin on a loop uh, around uh, Western Europe and uh, out over uh, Central Asia. Range uh, now about 50 yards as the progress continues its approach to the International Space Station. In this view, you can see the uh, Pierce docking compartment just a little bit above uh, and a little to the right of the uh, crossing, the intersection of these uh, uh, two lines on your screen. Here's is the uh, docking port uh, 4P26, which is... Yuri Ivanovich, the range is 47 meters. Yes, I see it. Copy. And as the uh, range decreases to below uh, 50 yards, VVO uh, Tom uh, Erkenswick in the International Space Station Flight Control Room reporting a good retraction of the uh, Coors antenna. Looking again at the Pierce docking compartment uh, from the uh, camera board, the Progress 28, and now uh, back to a view uh, from the station. The range is 30, so activate Robota. 
We have the indication. Everything is nominal. Copy. And range now about 30 yards as the uh, Progress 28 uh, bringing to the International Space Station a cargo totaling uh, 15,129 pounds of equipment uh, and supplies continues its normal approach to the International Space Station. That uh, cargo breaks down to 1,165 pounds of propellant, uh, more than 100 pounds of oxygen and air, about 925 pounds of water, and uh, 2,925 pounds of dry cargo. Progress right on the money, as you see in this view. Continuing its approach to the International Space Station range now just about 20 yards. I have a pitch. Copy. Uh, there is a shift to the right. Yuri, what is going on? Are Yuri? Everything is nominal. nominal. We need to have a nurse of steel with your normal. The range is closing. Copy. Range now just about 10 yards. Uh, Yuri Malinchenko on the International Space Station reporting the approach normal. Uh, the image is unstable. How do you monitor now it's stable? Copy. I can monitor it very well. I have a little... This view showing progress 28 approaching the pier stocking compartment in the lower center of your oh. television screen. And now a look uh, from cameras uh, on board. Progress 28. How do you call, see the picture? Yuri Ivanovich, we have uh, some uh, problems with the TV on the ground. Yuri, how do you copy? Yes, there are contacts and contact copy. And flight controllers are reporting contact and capture of the Progress 28 unpiloted cargo carrier as it uh, has uh, reached and docked with the International Space Station. Visiting Vehicle Officer uh, Tom Erkenswick. Uh, Moscow, on the form to the end, we have a drift. Uh, copy, and uh, you have to work on the page 27, uh, item 4.5 of the uh, RODF. Copy. Moscow reports the uh, docking probe uh, retracting. The uh, official docking time of the Progress 28 cargo carrier to the International Space Station uh, was... Uh, 8.30 and uh, 13 seconds uh, central time. Again, that docking time. 8.30 and uh, 13 seconds this morning central time. 